what is up boys and welcome back to some more VGC 2022 we're gonna keep Spectria for now see if we maybe we can still uh, figure out a way to use Spectria if not I, I think I'll just have to throw Grim I don't want to throw Grim because the team pretty much is gonna just look identical like my last Evolta team just that now I have Lunala with it but it's like it, it does really well it really does uh, really well with Grim because it's just able to fucking um, get screens up all that stuff all that jazz but let's see lunala uh looks pretty good here we have wide guard uh amoongus i'm not sure if there's any point in bringing the amoongus considering the fact that uh they're most likely bringing what's it called they're most likely going to bring tapu fini but i think we still need to bring amoongus redirection in case we decide to still get uh, some spores off, and I have to bring Lunala, even though Lunala, I mean Ivelta, even though Ivelta kind of gets dukied on by Glass Trier. Yeah, they're like they're pretty much they have to go for Trick Room. Like I, their their team is literally made for Trick Room, so we kind of have to figure out a way to stop that. Uh, it's, it's pretty bad if they get Trick Room up, not gonna lie. It's really bad if, we're gonna, if, they, get, if they end up uh, getting Trick Room up. Like, really bad. But, luckily for me, I am gonna get a free shot on this Ensign with Meteor Beam. Ensign, you... You're not, you're not ready for this shit. You are not ready for this shit. So we're gonna hard switch Ensign out into Amoongus in case the Palkia doesn't even decide to go for Trick Room. And they just go for like a water move or something. So we're going to Meteor Beam this Ensign. Remember, we are modest max special attack. So I'm assuming that this Ensign should die. If As long as it's not like AV. Some, something crazy like AV or something. But yeah, so you know Calyrex is in the back. And if we're going for Trick Room. Okay, it's either it's either, it's either uh, their Amoongus or it's Tapu Fini. And I'm going to assume it's Tapu Fini. Because they know uh, that I have an Amoongus as well. There we go. Boom. He's trying to kill my Ensign. He's trying to kill Daddy Ensign. We get off a free Meteor Beam on, the, on his Ensign and hopefully kill it. And we get a plus one Lunala. Nope, never mind. He did not go for Fake Out. We're faster too on top of that. Remember, I'm modest, max max special attack, max speed. Oh my god, they're actually running the sashed ensign. Really, bro? Yeah, we take it. Take it like a champ. Doubled up into Lunala. Okay, buddy. Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Alright, well, that's cringe. It's like, what is the point of running Focus Ash on Ensign, a Pokemon that doesn't even get one-shotted that easily? Like, come on, dude. That makes no sense. That literally makes zero sense. I don't know why people run Focus Ash Ensign. It's not even that common, but it's like, what's the point of that? You're, you're wasting Sash on a Pokemon that usually doesn't even get one-shotted. Like, come on, bro. Alright, let's Rage Powder and Max Darkness the Ensign. So we can lower the... Lower the special defense of, uh... Palkia. Because I think it's Life Orb. And disgusting damage. So that's gonna be, uh, Feeny coming in. Yep, so he did bring the Feeny. So cringe, bro. I thought he was gonna fake out on top of that, and they didn't. They just doubled up into Lunala. I don't know if they thought that I was gonna try and go for like a, a trick room or something, but yeah. Uh, quite cringe, bro. So I'm really hoping he's going for a geyser here. Thinking that um, I was going for like a sport. So 
So I don't know. I don't. I don't even think we still kill this Palkia. He's minus one special defense now. Nope, never mind. Come on, Amoongus. Live it, buddy. Oh, wait! This... Oh, my God. I completely forgot. This dude just weakened his own Pokemon. He he just weakened his own Pokemon. He weakened the Dragon move. Absolute genius over here. Absolute genius. What a genius. Okay, so we have Max Airstream you. I mean, I could go for it, guys. I, I honestly, I kind of want to. We're, we're, we're modest, max special attack, life orb. He's minus one, but I, I still don't think it kills. I still don't think it kills. Yeah, the safer bet is to get rid of it. Get rid of the Feeny and just Rage Powder again. Plus, he, this is his last turn of Dynamax on top of that, so he's dead. And then his instant is literally on 1 HP. His instant is literally 1 HP. We can max Darkness his Palkia the following turn. I mean, we can max Airstream. We don't even have to max Darkness. Wait, Amoongus is going to survive. We're fine. Dude, we are just, we're just good. We're literally fine. No, wait, hang on. He just brings out um, Calyrex now. He just brings out Calyrex. No, instant, okay. Bro, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, we max airstream him, and we actually just um, we just giga drain the ensign. So you get for running focus dash ensign and not not a berry. He's minus two. No, he's minus one. Nah, he's dead. He didn't even go for fake out again. He didn't even go for fake out again. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Fuck this guy, bro. He didn't even go for fake out. Wait, he's still faster? What? That's a max speed ensign. Really? Oh my god, max speed ensign. Are you kidding me? Wow. He's actually running that. He's running max speed ensign. That's why he's got the focus sash on it. So my Amoongus at plus two speed wasn't able to outspeed. Hey, we got some HP back, and then we get to switch out on top of that. Oh my god, I can't believe that. I genuinely cannot believe that. He's running max speed on the instant. That has to be max speed, because he outspent my Amoongus after two speed boosts. Oh my god, well, we still have our instant in the back, so does it really matter? And he still has to get Trick Room up. He still has to get Trick Room up. And terrain is almost gone as well, so we protect the Velta here. And switch out into Ensign. He might also just go for Fake Out and Glacial Alliance, I'm assuming. Which, if he does that, I I'm fine with that. Because now I just Fake Out the, um... If he does that and doesn't go for Trick Room this turn, I Fake Out the Calyrex, and then we just uh, Oblivion Wing the Ensign. And then we just switch out um, Evolta into Amoongus and parting shot the Calyrex to Pollen's room. That could... I mean, I, I'm assuming that wouldn't be Lumberry Calyrex because they have indeed, they have uh, Tapafini. Could be White Herb or whatever that that item is called. Nah, it's probably just Lucas Policy, like, like all of them.
No, okay, you went for the trick room. Yep. Went for the tricky rooms, went for the tricky rooms. <clears throat> yep, so I'm just gonna do what I wanted to do. Uh, we're going to Oblivion Wing, the Ensign, and fake out the Calyrex. They can protect if they want, don't care. Then we party shot and switch out Evolta. Then we party shot the following turn, switch out Evolta into Amoongus. Amoongus dies, but that's fine. We're still getting a parting shot, and then Ensign comes back, gets another gets another Intimidate, and we fake out in, in Dark Pulse. Yep, knew it. I knew he was going to party shot. That's why we're switching out Evolta the next turn. No, wait, hang on. Oh, hang on, boys. We can protect. We can protect Evolta. We can protect Evolta and Parting Shot with Ensign. Scratch that, scratch that. We're gonna take more damage from life with him than the HP we got back from Oblivion Wing. Hang on, that's a better that's a better play. That's a way better play. Because he's gonna move first and then we bring out um Amoongus. Dude, but I, I don't know if this is a negative nature to Calyrex, which means uh, they will outspeed Amoongus. Because I'm not running a negative nature one. Yeah, parting shot. This guy thought he was all sneaky with that focus sash ensign. Now he's gonna be minus two. And we switch out Evolta back into Ensign. We can go for score with the members. That's a crit! I hate this game! I'm telling you guys! I I fucking hate this game, bro. Get rid of hacks, man! Or at least crits. Why should crits be in the competitive side of the game? That just doesn't make any sense to me that someone could get bailed out because of a crit. That literally makes no sense to me. Alright, so we're going to find out right here if uh, our Amoongus is slower. Switch out. On top of that, we're actually just wasting... He's, he's We're making him waste his trick room turns because he's down to two now. So even if Amoongus does get outsped here and dies... It doesn't matter, because we get a fake out. Yeah, just, just cancel the battle, dude. We just get a fake out the next turn. Brings the end. I think, yeah, the fake out uh, stalls out his last turn of, of Trick Room the following turn. Jesus Christ. Like, I easily I easily could throw Grimmsnarl. Like, I easily could just throw Light Play Grimmsnarl, and it just makes this team better. T-Wave. So we have another way to help us out with speed control. Screens with Ensign is, and the Moongus is just insane. And it also makes our, our restricted Pokemons more bulkier. Like it makes the Lala bulkier. Like it's just insane. But I just don't want to throw Grim in there. Because it's it, it literally it's literally going to look like some of my previous teams already. And, I, and like Grim is just too good. I need to, I need to, I want to try something else out. So that's how I wanted to try out. Choice, uh, Choice Scarf, Spectre, Snarls, Will-O-Wisp. But I mainly have it there just to help me out with Thunderous. Those um, those Thunderous Zacian leads. But so so far, I have yet to see one. But here we go. We have another Trick Room team. This is definitely a Trick Room team. Do Trick Room Setters, Amoongus. Yeah, they're definitely relying on Trick Room. So let's see. I think Lunala is the better choice. It does kind of force my opponent to think... Uh, if I have Trick Room or not on Evolta, on I mean on Lunala, and on top of that, Moongeist Beam actually avoids, um, it actually avoids what's it called, Mimikyu's. It, it bypasses Mimikyu's disguise, so that's really really good. Uh, and then we just bring Insin, of course. We need someone for Intimidate, Parting Cha on the on the Calyrex because Calyrex kind of bodies Evolta, and then bring a Moongeist because it's gonna benefit from Trick Room as well, and then bring our. Uh, it's Lunala, Evolta, Incin, and Amoongus. Do do do. Yeah, because Calyrex with Trick Room, really scary. They get the Trick Room up. Ugh, dude, if you don't have a way to deal with Calyrex Ice Rider, bro, you're you're kind of screwed. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, th that's pretty much the main reason why I have Spectre. It is to help me out with Thunderous and Zacian leads, but I have yet to run into one, which is pretty surprising considering how terrifying that lead can be. Alright, let's see. Amoongus, Amoongus Trick Room lead. Yep, there we go. 
Yeah, so we just fake out Amoongus and we're gonna Moon Guy Beam that Mimikyu. And then nobody runs Focus Sash anymore on Mimikyu because because of the nerf, nobody runs Focus Sash, which is a really good thing. That's why I, I love that about the nerf on Mimikyu. It's still a good Mon. It's still a good Mon and people still use Mimikyu. Um, it's still a very good Mon. But yeah, the nerf was is perfect for Mimikyu. No longer make it take a little bit of, I mean, I think they could have made it that it takes a tiny bit of damage. Not the amount of damage it takes right now. But yeah, I just like the fact that it breaks its HP so they, they, they can't fucking use Focus Sash. But yeah, so my opponent is in a tough spot here. They have, yeah, they have to switch out. Because I'm pretty sure people usually tend not to run, um, people tend not to run, what's it called? Um, protect on Mimikyu. So we get a free Moon Guys beam off on this Lunala. I mean, on the on the Dialga. That doesn't seem like a AV to me, because <laughs> it's life work. It's always life work. Has to be. Life work. Um, and he's gonna he's gonna actually put us to sleep, which is the the bad part, like really bad part. Yeah, so I'm just gonna meteor beam the Amoongus, and we're gonna switch out into our Amoongus. So the fact that we were just able to stop him from getting up Trick Room was like really huge, but Lunala is gonna go to sleep here, but I'm fine with that. Oh, never mind, he's not gonna Dynamax. He's oh, he's oh, he's, he's setting up Trick Room, he's setting up Trick Room. He's setting up Trick Room. Yeah, I forgot that Elga also gets Trick Room. Yeah, this man really wants to get Trick Room. He has three Trick Room setters then. If he if he has Trick Room on this Dialga, that means he has three Trick Room setters. And I think I'm gonna let his Amoongus put my Lunala to sleep. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna let his Amoongus put my Lunala to sleep. So we can start right away on uh on getting rid of those um those sleep turns. While we go for Spore on his Dialga. If he switches down to Mimikyu, then that safety goggles Mimikyu. Alright, uh, I'm that's is it Mimikyu? Yep, it's Mimikyu. It's gotta be safety goggles. No, nope, never mind! This is perfect. Exactly what I wanted. So now we're literally just stalling out his turns. We're stalling out his turns. We're stalling out his turns here. All right, let's go for let's go for Moon Guys Beam into the Amoongus slot, and I'm gonna spore the Amoongus slot. 200 IQ, boys. 200 IQ. He can't waste. He can't afford to waste turns of his Trick Room. He has to. Never mind. He. Oh my God! This guy actually has Hex on Amoongus. He actually has Hex on Amoongus. You can't make this up. And we wake up. Get out of here. Get out of here with your Hex Amoongus. He actually has Hex on Amoongus, guys. Well, I guess it makes... It, I mean, it does kind of make sense. It does kind of make sense. He spores, and then they can spam Hex. That's why his Hex did more damage. It's actually pretty smart, actually. Never mind. I take back what I said. Take back what I said. That, that's actually pretty smart. But yeah, now we just Giga Drain the uh, good old uh, Shroomy over here and uh, kill it. So his Amoongus did outspeed mine. It could it could have been a speed tie, but I'm assuming it's just uh, it's just a uh, what's it called negative nature. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, he, uh, this is a true hardcore. Trick Room Team, which means his Calyrex most likely is going to be um, negative natured as well, which means he will outspeed. So I could go for Wide Guard here. We know Calyrex is coming out. I could go for Wide Guard here, but I, for 100%, I know that he's probably going to Dynamax. 
he is most likely going to die. Or that could also be Lumberry. <clears throat> could also be Lumberry. How many turns of his Trick Room are left? Alright. Well, let's just attack. Let's kill the Mimikyu. Switch out into Incin. He could Shadow Sneak too. He could go for Shadow Sneak into Lunala right here, and I think it probably will kill me. Because we no longer have our ability up. And there's a Dynamax. Yep, there was no point in going for Wide Guard. He was Dynamaxing from the beginning. And he ha he has to be attacking the Amoongus. He has to be attacking the Amoongus. There is there's just no way he's not. You can't afford to, to have your you literally your your best Pokemon at this point go to sleep. Like you have to attack Amoongus. Wow. He really wants Mimikyu to wake up. Perfect. Get out of here. You can't. You, he's not gonna be able to get his, his weakness policy up anymore. I'm pretty sure he was gonna shadow sneak his, his Calyrex the following turn. He wanted to see if his uh, he wanted to see if Mimikyu was gonna wake up or not. God, I love the fact that Moon Guy's team ignores disguise. I love the fact that it ignores it. Let's see. Um, oh, he's out of Trick Room. He's out of Trick Room. All right. Um, Moon Guy Beam, the Dialga. There's no point in faking out because we know we're faster. And we parting shot the Calyrex. Put it at minus two. And he's not protecting. I, I was kind of scared if he was going to protect, but that's fine. We, we, we lose Lunala here, but now he's down... Um, to Calyrex against everything, and he doesn't have Trick Room anymore. So he's still he's still he's still gonna be at minus one here if he kills Lunala because he's only gonna get an attack boost and only bring him back down to minus one. I feel like it's a safe play to switch into Evelta, but I feel like it's kind of risky. Like imagine they just go wild and they're like, oh, they're gonna switch back into Amoongus. I'm gonna go for Hellstorm into that slot, but I don't even though I highly doubt they're doing that. That has to be for Lunala. Yeah. So it would have been a safe play going out into Evolta, but we're fine. Like I said, he's going to get his attack back. We just bring out Ensign, Parting Shot, and Spore the uh, Calyrex. Which will also stall out the last turn of his Dyna. So even if Amoongus does die here, which I, I'm pretty sure we are going to die. Uh, no, wait, he'll be minus three. Wait, he's going to be minus three. Amoongus actually might live. Yeah, Amoongus actually might live. He's going to be minus three now. So we parting shot and spore. Yep, cancel battle. <laughs> Let's go. Moon guy speed, bro. I completely forgot about that. That it freaking bypasses Mimikyu's disguise. Literally just destroyed this guy's strategy that we've seen in the past with Mimikyu and Calyrex. Ooh, let me get Trick Room up and then Shadow Sneak and activate my weakness policy. Yay! We love Pokemon. But all right, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys again next time.